So far this year, horror games have really impressed me. Started off really bad. We had a bit of a drought. But now, things seem to be flourishing for reasons unknown. But I'm happy, as long as you're happy. We're going to jump in. Check out this game that released about three hours ago. What's up, guys and gals, and uh, welcome to the Outer Middle Show. Mad Vlad is the name, and Ethel is the game. I can't be serious with a title name like Ethel. Hey, Ethel, come in here and wash my back. I'm not going to touch on that, okay? YouTube won't let me. As always, I don't know what this game's about. I don't even know if this is going to be a good idea. I've just been kind of going off the cuff lately. I feel extremely good today. As a matter of fact, I've felt extremely good for the past month. Wonder why. My name is Thomas Myrtle. And I think I murdered my grandmother. Thank you for the backstory. Present day, 1963. Good year. Okay, well, we murdered our grandmother. Or we think we murdered our grandmother, but we don't know. She didn't make her chicken salad the way I liked it. <laughs> she left out the grapes. And then I power bombed her through the fish tank. That's what you get. You don't mess with the original recipe. I got a bad feeling about this game, man. I really do. This is definitely off the cuff. The hell is that? An automatic rocker? Nice front porch, though. Pretty sick. Mail. It's locked. I'll check around back. How many games... Have we played this started like that? Well, that was locked. We better go around the back door. So original. We're definitely not going to get scared in this game. I just didn't want to play it alone. That's why I brought you guys along, and I appreciate it. Thank you for being here, and I hope you're feeling good as well. That's probably the darkest game I've ever played. I can't see... There was the rip. Oh, damn, there's boards. Who the hell boarded this up? There has to be something around here I could use to take these down. Well, gee, let me guess. Is that a crowbar? The infamous crowbar. Uh, can't go this way, right? No? Okay. Awesome. Where the hell are we going to find a crowbar? I know. Use your fingernails. <laughs> I can't even joke about that. I have a weird fingernail thing. It makes me clinch up. Yeah, man, I feel relaxed today. Whoa, what was that? Some kind of glitch or rooney. I can't run. We are on slow mock walk mock walk mode. I can't talk. Uh oh. Uh oh. Got a winder here. Just jumping. Oh. Got some graffiti. Somebody's been in here, man. Somebody broke into Granny's house. That's been the theme for a lot of horror games lately. It's always been Granny, man. Why? Why you put Granny in so many damn horror games? Oh, what's that? That's an axe. <laughs> yeah, that'll work. Oh. Is someone inside? Oh. That definitely ain't Granny, but that is a big trunk on whatever that was that just walked up the steps. We got to get in here. We got to get in here, man. Come on. Move a little faster. She's waiting for us upstairs. <laughs> yeah, that definitely wasn't Granny. Granny's got a hunchback and a mole. The size of an anthill on her neck. <laughs> okay, we made it back. 
Are we grandma? Gee whiz. Yep. Just, you know, that was so realistic. Uh, yeah. All right. I made it in. Whoever sprayed graffiti in here is going to pay. Is that the family picture? It is. There's Papaw in the middle. And uh, that's Grandma right there. She had a beard. You know, it happens sometimes. She's still a lovely lady, though. Yep, that's my great great Yep, there's there's got to be a bum in here. Oh, will you look at that? A picture of my grandmother's parents. Yeah, okay, great-grandma and great-grandpa. This house was constructed by my great-grandfather. He built it from the ground up, utilizing his skills. He repurposed the old, uh, old foundation that sits on the hill behind this one for storage and installed the power supply that currently serves the house. Great-grandpa, man. He was a beast. I heard so many stories about him. I won't get into those. Wait a minute. Where'd that can roll from? There it is. Hello? If there's any squatters in here, you're going to have to get out. Unless, of course, you're squatting on something. <laughs> Damn it! <sighs> Y'all know where I was going with that. Oh. This is great, great, great grandmother. Damn. Can't remember her name. I think it was, uh, I think her last name was McTitty. And that's her when she was younger. No, it's not. That's her mother. McSchnitzel Knits. <laughs> I'm trying here, y'all. Shit. It's hard. <laughs> I can't say that either. At least some great pictures, though. We got another read. My great great uncle, along with his wife and their young daughter, pose in front of a grand house they inherited from his father. Standing stoically behind them is the loyal butler. This historic home stood long before this one, but its foundation still stands strong, a testament to the generations past. Yeah, okay, let's not talk about that picture. It's not good. All right, all right. a little close. All right, all right. Oh, we got, look at this. My young grandmother stands between her two sisters beneath my great grandmother. Ah, long family lineage in this house. But I killed my grandmother, apparently. <laughs> Don't mess with my chicken salad, dog. A lot of weird sounds. I got to turn it up. Even higher than, oh my God, it's loud. We got to find that girl. What a toothbrush. Yep, she's here. That's her toothbrush. She's been drinking. I don't know if that's a good sign or a bad one. Am I wearing high heels, man? It's loud. Hello? Maybe the lights. They don't work. Hello? Every damn thing's locked. I don't see any keys. A drawer, maybe. Yeah. Oh, my God. Okay. February 7th, 1951. This morning was unexpectedly turbulent. <laughs> Why would you start? Never mind. Grandma accused me of taking her pills and reverting to my old ways. It stung to hear those words, especially since I've been clean and proud of it. But I understand that her a old age can sometimes play on her memory. I didn't touch those pills. They were probably left on the coffee table, forgotten. The confrontation left me feeling disheartened and misunderstood. However, Grandpa surprised me by offering to spend some quality time together later tonight. <laughs> oh, really? He suggested playing a few hands of poker and letting me vent about the situation. I'm sure he'll bring up his favorite 1914 story, the year he was drafted into the war, crazy old man. Anyway... It was a welcome change from the tension with Grandpa and the chance to connect with him, especially since we haven't spent much time together lately. He's always locked away in what he calls the art room, but I've yet to catch a glimpse of it. He's incredibly secretive, keeping everything under lock and key. The other day, I caught him painting the walls, 
But strangely, there was no paint left behind. Perhaps those paint fumes are starting to get to him. <laughs> oh, man. Anyway, I hope Grandma can find it in her heart to forgive me. Even though I know I'm innocent, falsely being accused by someone I love hurts deeply. But I'll try to maintain patience and understanding. Family is everything, even when they're mistaken. Deep, bro. It was very deep. Oh, whoa. Okay. Nice little backstory there. Maybe that's what we needed to trigger something? I don't know. There's a lot of reading to do. A lot of history. A can rolled out. And, uh... There was nothing there. So I'm assuming it was maybe a mouse or something? I don't know. Platinum. What the hell is this? What kind of tub is this? Sensitivity in this game is so stupid. Oh, some cigarettes. Yes. Close that door. Let's take one of these. Oh, another note. Gee whiz. That sounded like somebody was running. Anyway, July 11th, 1953. In the home of the famous late Ethel Myrtle. With my future wife, Claire. She's been nagging me for months to take a trip out here. So I surprised her with a visit to explore her idol's for what? Her idol's former residence. Who's her idol? Despite its hidden location, I had a connection who worked for Ethel. Rumors circulated about the grandson's involvement in Ethel's disappearance, driven mad after the war, I'm guessing. The husband ended up disappearing after the events, and he hasn't been heard from since. Some think he's out looking for his grandson to seek revenge or something. If he's even still alive, I would have liked to see more of this place, but nearly every door was locked, preserving its history. Claire insisted on respecting the place after I mistakenly tagged up some of the walls. Okay, so that's where it came from. I'll try to clean it up before we leave. We're hanging out in the bathroom, smoking and sharing a few drinks. Claire brought her Ouija board. Come on, dog. To connect with Ethel. She's a bit of a fanatic. I never believe in that stuff, but whatever makes her happy. She seems off lately, but I'm glad this trip here made her day, even though this place gives me a heavy feeling. I boarded up the back door and at the request of Claire so that when we leave, she at least has a sense that the place is protected. We're going to check out the rest of this place, see what we can find. Max! Old Max, man, in here drinking and carrying on, smoking cigarettes, and there's none left in the pack. Bullshit. There's nowhere to go up here, man. Everything's locked up tight. No power. I don't think there's anything else we're going to find up here. I don't know. Let's walk around a bit, I guess. Aha, uh -huh. another note. Gee whiz, man, these are some long-ass notes. December 18th, 1949. It's been a tough journey, but I am grateful to have my grandparents by my side when I had nothing and nobody else. I've been crashing on the couch for a few months now, and my back is <laughs> consistently reminding me of the discomfort. But it's still better than the cold sidewalk I used to sleep on. Becky, I know you'll never read this, but I'm sorry that our marriage fell apart because of my battle with drugs and alcohol. I'm proud to say that I've been clean for two years now, slowly but surely getting my life back on track. However, it's not all smooth sailing. My grandmother's health is declining, and it's heartbreaking to witness her struggle with forgetfulness. She tries to write new stories for her books, but her memory fails her after just a few sentences. That's sad. We're doing our best to keep this from the press, but it's a battle we're fighting silently. Despite her health issues, she still gets up every morning at 4 a.m. like clockwork to make us both a fresh cup of coffee. Those early mornings spent together on the front porch sharing coffee and conversation are precious moments I'll always cherish. As for Pa, he's been working tirelessly lately. Our connection, once strong during my younger years, seems to have faded. 
He appears lost, distant even. I had hoped that our shared experience of fighting in the wars would bring us closer, but it seems to have driven a wedge between us instead. It's a disheartening realization, but one I'm determined to navigate through. Overall, each day brings its own challenge and blessings. I'm holding on to hope and grateful for the family I have, even amidst the struggles we face. Okay, we get it. Got a lot of backstory. Something jump out and scare me already. <laughs> I'm joking. I don't want that to happen. That was a joke. Okay, so we had a can roll out. Playing cards. Playing poker, I see. Ah! Okay! Uh, yeah. Well, I got what I asked for. Ooh, butter. I'll have some of that. Let me go ahead and close that. It's okay. It's one of those old spring-loaded uh, refrigerators. Totally didn't scare me. What do we got? What is man? There's a lot of old gadgets in here, like oven mitts. I don't even use the oven mitts anymore. Once I became a man, it was unnecessary. There's something engraved on the lock. You can find me if you try, but I can't be seen with the naked eye. Ooh, that's spooky. Okay. Uh, and is. Looks like a, yeah, a number padlock. The padlock has four digits. So I'm assuming now I've got a, I can't see it with my eye, but I can feel it with my anus. What does it say? You can find me if you try, but I can't be seen with the naked eye. Okay, so if our eye's naked, then we're, we're okay. So if we can't see it with our eyeballs... The hell are we supposed to do? Hey, it's my old bird. Twiddle dick. I mean, <laughs> Twiddle D, I mean. He always woke me up in the morning. Ooh, ashes. The remains of my great grandmother. Her picture is above. Pause to talk about her all the time. So she's in here. How did they fit her in here, man? This is so unrealistic. That blanket. A lot of history here, man. We know now why there's graffiti on the walls, why there's alcohol up above. All right, maybe we triggered something. God, these steps are terrible. <gasps> no, wait. Was that? Yeah, that was already open. I almost pooped myself. Okay. Oh, God. Hello? Oh, my. Hey! Are you the girl that walked up the steps? Are those her clothes? Boy, it got quiet. Hello? no tape in there. What now? Oh, looks like the keys to the foundation. Paul used to twirl it around his fingers anytime there was something. I didn't get to read that. Another giant note. Journal entry, September 15th, 1949. Two decades spent in this dump. Each creak of the wooden floorboards a reminder of the monotony that surrounds me. Our grandson's arrival, though celebrated by others, only amplified the dull ache of boredom that has settled into the very bones of this place. The walls seem to close in as the routine of these isolated woods. <laughs> I, can't, I don't even know what that says. Stifles? Stifles. Any sense of excitement or purpose. It's hard to read in the white areas. In these moments, I find my mind wandering back to those days of war. A time where every heartbeat mattered, and the thrill of the unknown eclipsed the mundane existence. The idea of returning to the battlefield with its chaos and danger seems almost preferable to the dreary routine of life in this homestead. Gee whiz, man. 
In the midst of Ethel's illness, my truck, rhythmic purr, <laughs> and the art of painting become my lifeline. Guided me through the emptiness that surrounds me, the canvas becomes a sanctuary where unspoken thoughts find impression. Locked away in a room with only, only seen by my late mother, the keys to my peace rest with her. Perhaps it's the yearning for purpose, for a challenge that transcends the mundane. As I put pen to paper on this anniversary, the ink seems to carry the weight of unspoken desires. Dude, that sounds like it was written by like chat GTP or some shit. Yeah, Papa was articulated, bruh. He must have been really depressed. What am I hearing? Close the door. Ah, uh, Pa took sleeping pills. That's doesn't surprise me any. Well, we put them back, apparently. Maybe we need those later. Hello? Maybe if I sing with her. We got some keys. Maybe it was coming from down here. We got the keys to the foundation, right? Which door is it? It's not this one. Maybe this one. Oh my. Everything in my body clenched. Well, here's his art room. A lot of booze, a lot of paint. I don't know what the hell that is. All right, Papa. What do you got in here? Shovel? Why would he have a shovel in here? That's a tell. Yeah, I don't see nothing in here. Ha ha. Looks like a black light bulb for a flashlight. Yeah, 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 yeah. I need that so that we can find that code, bruh. He won't let me take it, though. Yeah, so maybe we're going to have to come back and uh, put that in our flashlight. Like, it's not letting me do anything with that. I need that really bad. We'll take a black light, but we'll a flashlight. All right, whatever. We'll let us take it. Well, we got in Papaw's paint room. What now? Is the sun coming up? Weird. So I guess we're supposed to just investigate this house and find out the story. I Look, I don't know. What's that? Nothing. Well, this might be one of those triggered event type games where we have to like walk around, you know? Do we trigger something? Could be. I don't know. Let's go in the living room. There was singing. Maybe it was great grandmother. Ah, God. Didn't mean to do that. Can't even play the piano. What a rip off. Well, okay. Didn't find nothing in Papaw's room. Game crashed on me. So we're back here. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I, where's that picture? I looked at this and it jump scared me. That's apparently a picture of grandma. So yeah, there you go. I did not get that on film. 
I didn't get scared. But whatever. Yeah, the game froze up on me. Kind of stupid. We tried to grab that black light bulb and it wouldn't let us, so maybe that was a glitch. I have no idea. Let's really hate that. Do not like that. Well, the last thing I remember hearing is something running past me and going outside. At least I think that's what it was. It's got to be something we're missing. I've been walking around the house. I can't find anything. So might as well just walk outside, but... Is this another path? God, I cannot see. Ha ha. What is this? Is it locked? Oh, okay. So was the key for both the locks? <laughs> I'm so confused. What kind of a room is this? Storage or something? Yeah, this is where Papaw did his dirty business. I see you, Papaw. Oh, shit. Missing a fuse. I know where it is. So does that mean we got to go back? Can I have a lantern? Yeah, there's nothing else in here. That's disgusting. Go ahead and do it. I know you're going to do it. Ah, okay. It's all right. Which way do we go? The hell's... Ooh, a furnace. I think. What the hell is that? I don't know. All right. Well, let's get out of here. Go back to Papaw's room. His secret paint room. I really hate that. Let's grab that fuse. Golly, it is impossibly dark out here. Yeah, it's like two in the morning. Was that there before? Yeah, that was there before. I'm expecting something. Right there. It's a shame we couldn't grab that before we walked out here. That would have been nice. This game makes you go back and forth a lot for some reason. It's very weird. Not as weird as you, though. You keep coming back. You're extremely weird. Not that that's a bad thing. I like weird. All right. We got the fuse. Let's stick it in the hole. Slow walking ass. All right. We got power now. Go ahead and close that. Now what? <laughs> All right. Just gonna, you know, walk out of here now. Now that we got power in the house. Boy, this flashlight really sucks. Must be one from the Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, we can buy everything for a dollar, see? Look at this, it's in the air. It's a pair of underwear. Ha ha! Is it one? Okay, we have power. Awesome. All right, don't need this anymore. Yeah, we do. <laughs> that don't work. Why don't that work? Anyway, see if we can grab this now. 
Um, we'll need that at some point. Okay. Where's the light switch for in here? Right here? Ha-ha! God, those lights suck, too. Everything sucks. Ha uh ha! -huh. How do we turn that on? Here, maybe? Ha uh ha! -huh. Those are nice. Are those soup cans? I don't know, but I like it. This is much more cozy. Got us a blanket. We can sleep on the futon. Granny's furniture sucks. <laughs> Looks like she made it by hand. That's why it lasted so long, but it's extremely uncomfortable. Why is that light flickering? I don't like that. Let's turn this one on. Oh. I don't know why I'm getting so excited about turning on lights. I just am. Fan work? Nope. And I'm trying to fight the sensitivity as well. It's extremely high. Okay. Turn the bathroom light on. And that's a plug outlet. Stop it! Oh, God. Oh, my God. Stop that. What? Man, where did that girl go? It's the only reason I'm here. Okay. To whom it may concern, my name is Thomas Myrtle, the grandson of Ethel and Arthur Myrtle. I have no recollection of last night's events, yet I fear I may have committed a grave act. Awakening beside a pool of blood in my grandmother's room with her nowhere to be found. Our senseless argument from yesterday morning seemed to have spiraled out of control. I cannot bring myself to face my family, so I'm deciding to vanish. Pa, I never intended harm towards you or grandma, and I wish you were here to have stopped me. Grandma... My love for you is immense, and I'm deeply sorry for believing I had changed. You were right all along. Nah, bro. You didn't do this. Papaw did it. That son of a bitch. Ooh. Okay. Whispers from the art room. Ethel sat by the window. Her gaze drifted past the falling snow to the door at the end of the hallway, the entrance to Arthur's sanctuary, his art room. It beckoned to her like a forbidden realm, a place she had not dared to enter and could not in years. The art room held a mystique that both intrigued and perplexed it, Ethel. <laughs> it's hard to say that. I keep wanting to say Ethel. It was a space of secrets, a haven where Arthur retreated to unleash the depths of his creativity. But there was more to it than just painting. Ethel often wondered what mysteries lay hidden within its walls. She imagined shelves lined with jars of pigments and brushes, canvases stacked against one another like silent witness to Arthur's artistic journey. But what drew Arthur to his art room time and time again? Was it not just an act of painting, but the solace it provided? It was a place where he could escape the demands of the world, where he could lose himself in the strokes of his brush and the swirls of color on his canvas. Ethel understood this, perhaps more than anyone else. She knew that Arthur's art was not just a hobby, but a lifeline, a tether to his true self and a world that often seemed indifferent to his dreams. And as she sat by the window, watching the snow fall softly outside, Ethel couldn't help but wonder what secrets lay buried within the walls of the art room. She longed to unlock its mysteries, to understand the depths of Arthur's soul that he was so willingly poured into his work. But for now, she could only wait and wonder, her heart heavy with the weight of unspoken truths. Yeah, this is written a bit too well. Okay. 
Why did Pa keep that room so secretive? For... Anyway, you can pause and read that. More pilts. I like it. I like it. Oh my! What the hell is that? Sir, what the hell are you? I will soccer style kick you. What the hell was that? Am I having a fucking episode? Did a small duty monster just jump on me? Let me know down in the comments section. Because I couldn't make sense of it. And while you're down there, poke my thumb button. <laughs> yeah, okay. So we got little duty monsters in here. The hell am I supposed to do now? Is that all I was supposed to find in here? A freaking book? Talking about his secret room? Going back down. The hell was Papal doing in there? I found a color in there that was like clear. Who paints with clear paint? It was real slippery too. It was his most used color. <laughs> oh, Papal. Come on, man. Maybe now it'll let me grab the light. Nope. We're not there yet. But there's something in this room they kept speaking of. What could it be? I don't know. I know there's going to be something in here. Oh, wait a minute. Nope. See, there's a shovel in here, too. So I'm thinking maybe he uh, he's the one that killed Mamaw and buried her. It, that has to be it. Probably the end of the game is going to be us grabbing this shovel and digging her up. <laughs> That's not funny, but... It's, yeah, it's, it's funny. Kind of. It's a, it's a game, all right? It's not real. That's why it's funny. Real life, that would have been terrible. I'm just wandering around this house again. Trying to figure out what the hell I'm doing. The hell was that? Sounded like I just picked up keys, but I don't have an inventory. I've looked in there already, though. Maybe it was from the book? I'm not putting clues together, but I think I just found keys. Hang on just a sec. I'm going to check this real quick. Okay, so she was constantly talking about his art room. I don't know. I have no idea. Um, well, I guess let's see. Aha. Oh, this was his art room. Good old American flag. Because he served. Love that thing. See that right there? I love that thing. Nice artwork, dog. I like that, too. He forgot to put a head on it, though. All right, there's got to be something in here that I can find. Let's close that. I mean, there's nothing special about it. What was she so intrigued about? It's just an art room. Yeah, he ran out of room for the head. I'm assuming that's why he didn't put a head on it. I don't know why. I guess he just didn't finish the arm. Oh. 
Tonight marks the final strokes of my brush within these walls as I ready myself for the eve to come. The canvas before me depicts a man dissolving into the anew and weakness that surrounds me. I've never seen that word in my life. The tape recording is safely secured in my study, but I'll be long gone before the ears of another ever hears it. Okay. What tape was he talking about? I need to get into that office. Okay. So now we're looking for a tape. We know where the tape player is. Uh, fluorescent paint here. Aha, yeah, see? See? Fluorescent paint. Go ahead and do it. I know you're going to do it. Ah, shit, bastard. I told you. Let's get back down in the study. I'm assuming that's what it is. So he had a study and a paint room. And now we need the flashlight bulb. Yeah. yeah. Oh! What the hell was that? Okay, so to get into his study, we need to find the code, right? Oh my god. All the lights went out again. That's fantastic. Oh my god. This game just went to a thousand miles an hour from zero to one thousand. So far, no numbers. We're looking for four. Four digits. Maybe they're on... Nah, that was stupid. They're definitely not on the note. It is so hard to see in here, man. I have to thoroughly check every room. I know you guys can't see, but neither can I, okay? So just chill the hell out. Maybe he put the uh, the numbers on his paintings. That's what I'm thinking. Let's go upstairs and check. Probably should have waited to change the bulb out. Oh my god, stop it. Or keep going. Hello? It's just me! Maybe the UV light scared her. Okay, nothing on that one. Nothing there. Bro, I, I can't see a single number. So there's not a number on any painting. I just ran into a woman that had the most lovely voice, but we scared her with our UV light. Man, that gave me the wigglies. And crying. Hey! Oh God! Hey, chill out! Calm down. It's okay. I'm a human, and I'm here with you. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, grandmother, how could I have done this to you? Dude, shut up. You didn't do nothing, man. Still no sign of any numbers, dude. Like, this is crazy. I don't really know what I'm looking for. I'm assuming, like, some glowing green, really bright fluorescent paint. Because anytime you have a light like this, a UV light, which I have quite a few UV lights. Whatever paint that you use glows like extremely bright, but I'm not seeing anything. Like nothing. We're in the paint room. It said something when we walked in here, so that might be a might be a tell. But I, I don't see anything. There's nothing here. Wait a minute. Is that UV paint? I think that's UV paint. It is. Okay. That's got to be UV paint. Is there a trail, though? Not really. There's just like, it, it seems to be like a splash right here. It's hard to tell. I, I might be tripping. It's, oh, no. It's in the bed. Why the hell would it be in the bed? <laughs> you know what? You know what I just got to thinking? That might not be UV paint. It might be Papa. Yeah, man. I think it's Papa. That's evidence that Papa did it. For sure. Absolutely. What a scumbag. Well, I, I think I know what it looks like now. Aha! Uh -huh, yes! One. Okay. Awesome. Damn, that's the first one we found. That took forever. Yeah, so these sons of guns are hidden, brah. Like, really hidden. Why, why would you do that? Why? I can't see. That was like a damn donation alert on my stream. Which is on Twitch on Saturdays. And sometimes other times. Usually around 12 o'clock. You should be there, man. I'd love to see you. Well, I don't like Twitch. Really? Well, I don't like YouTube. At least they let me say what I want to say. We have a lot of fun over there. Mm. All right, well, we've checked the upstairs. We're looking for... Literally three more letters, I mean numbers. And I know they're going to be in some very 
jank places because that one was in a terrible spot. So they've made it kind of a challenge. They could be on the ceiling too. I don't know, but we'll keep looking around. Tricky, 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 bro. Very, very true. Uh huh. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Four. Oh, oh, shit, you son of a bitch. Ah. <laughs> Just get the damn thing. Come on. There. Four's the first number. Stupid. You know what? <sighs> Never mind. Kitchen. I've been in the kitchen like three fucking times. Ha uh ha. -huh. One. Is that a one? Yes, four one. We're missing one more. Go ahead and do it. I know you're going to do it. Yep, I knew it. That came from up here. Okay, went away. All right, well, we got one more number. I don't know where the hell it is. So we're going to keep looking. Boy, these numbers have been really hard to find. Close that. Nope. 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 Nope, nope, nope. I don't do babies, man. The baby crying thing is like my nervous system's worst nightmare. I guess it's my instincts, you know. There, a kid crying, it goes straight through me, and I just want to help him out. You know what I mean? Protect him. I think the worst part about this is not being able to see where the. <laughs> What the hell was that? <sighs> okay. Crystal of luck. <laughs> Crystal of luck. It's like the jump scares just like come out of... Where the hell am I? They just come out of nowhere. Uh -huh. How did I not see that before? All right. 4191. Where is that room? I think... Is it upstairs? No? I just want my flashlight back, even though it sucks, too. Here we go. Uh, four, one. Why'd I go that way? Nine, one. Huh? Huh? What? Hey. Open the damn door. 4191. What the? F I'm about to scream at the top of my lungs. C 
Code's in the door. Cool. I am so damn confused. Maybe it's backwards. 1914. 1914. That's probably it because that's the year. Yeah, okay. I get it. Yes, give me my flat. Psst, what? Oh, God. That took me fucking forever to figure out, dude. That sucked. I was about to literally uninstall this game. I'm not that smart. Okay. Aha, the tape! <laughs> yeah! Alright. Now go ahead and jump scare me. I know you're going to do it. Alright, where was that tape player at? It was in the downstairs room or no upstairs room I can't remember maybe it's right here yeah it's, it's right here I'm getting itchy go ahead and do it where'd it go where was it in here no it wasn't in here it was in the bedroom I think I'm losing my mind It's not even midnight, man. Ah, son of a bitch. Oh. I don't know why my ribs just started hurting. Why is she running from us? I guess that's what happens when I try to pursue a woman. They just run from me. I don't know why. It's not like I'm a try-hard. I don't try at all, really. Because I don't care. I just like being myself, okay? And if you're not into that, then you're not into me. Bros, I totally forgot where this cassette player is. Is it in this room? Might be in this room. I think it is in this room. Yeah, it's on the bed. I'm so stupid. I think I even said that a couple minutes ago. All right, let's listen in. Congratulations. You've stumbled upon my tape, where I'm certain I'll be six feet by now. Here's the truth. I snuffed out my wife, Ethel Myrtle, with my own hands. Craftily, I pinned the whole sordid affair on my feeble grandson. Oh, Tommy boy. You were a breeze to deceive. My hands may be dirty, but yours will bear the weight of the blame. Not anymore. See, when you've got one soul dependent on meds to numb the pain, and another reveling in them for twisted delight, pitting them against each other is child's play. Just drop the pills next to the addict's pitiful bedside. I waltz in, the virtuous savior. Tom and I indulge in a deceitful game of poker, and as he rises to use the head, I sneak a generous dose of sleeping pills into his tea. Sweet dreams, Tom, you gullible pawn. Once Ethel was dealt with, I moved his body into her quarters. When he comes to, I'm sure he'll believe the terrors of the war made him do such a terrible thing. He won't suspect it was me. Little does he know, I had him dancing to my malicious tune. I've got him fooled. I fed him a load of lies, making him believe I'm off on some extended work trip tonight. I'd kill him too, but unfortunately, he's my cover. Here's the motive. <coughs> I've gambled my life for this damn country. Yet, who gets the accolades? Not me, but Ethel. Maybe once I erase her from the scene, they'll finally acknowledge the greatness I've achieved, the masterpieces I've crafted. And if they still don't, well... This confession will cement me as the legend who silenced the renowned author Ethel Myrtle 
and got away with it. You son of a bitch. All these years. Okay. All right, man. So, Papal sounds not like a Papal. He sounds like a middle-aged lunatic. And why would he make a tape? Why? You'll never find the tape where I confess everything I did. <laughs> it's like, bear the, you just, bear what weight? Now I don't have weight because you recorded it, stupid. I don't understand it. Why would you, why would you record that? Well, time to go home. We didn't do anything wrong. We didn't kill our grandma. I told you, man. I told you it was Papa. Told you, man. Is that coming from the attic? What attic? There's an attic? Ah! Oh, fuck. Son of a bitch. God, man. Ah. Ah. I didn't kill Grandma. It was Papa. I'm no longer afraid. No longer afraid. Why the hell am I up here? Why ain't I walking out the door? Ah, no, yeah, whatever. No! Shit! Why is there a bathtub up here? There's a Ouija board. Okay, calm down, man. Catch your breath. Oh, God. My dearest Max, it's hard to put into words the turmoil swirling within me. I need you to understand that my love for you was genuine, but the path I've chosen was driven by desperation. Losing my mother at, at a young age left a void only Ethel could fill. Her books became my refuge, guiding me through life's trials with their message of hope and joy. The road I've taken, deceiving you to enter her cherished haven was not fueled by malice, but by a sense of duty. In this life, I find it hard to find a purpose. Even the prospect of motherhood couldn't anchor me in purpose. Yes, Max, I'm three months pregnant. <laughs> what? <laughs> With this book of spells and your sacrifice, I'll protect the place she once called home and where those cherished books were born for all eternity. You once said you'd do anything for me, and I believed you. So, I slipped poison into your drink, knowing you'd understand. You look so peaceful now in that bed, and I promise to protect your soul. You may rest while mine will remain here forever. Farewell, Max. Thank you for this chance, even if it means goodbye. Love always, Claire. Why is everybody drugging everybody, man? I need to get the hell out of here. Yes, you do. Yeah, you do. What the hell's that? No way, dude. There she is. No, dude. She been in the bathtub the whole time in the attic? Really? I'm hearing the piano downstairs. Time to go. I don't know why it wasn't time to go before. But it's time to go now. Come on, do it. I know you're going to do it. Yep. Nope. Stop it. Stop it. Can I have a kiss? Oh, God. Holy crap. She's beautiful. Kind of. Oh. Besides the sharp teeth, of course. Holy crap. Bad ending? There's two endings? Maybe there's another way out. Guided by an unyielding curiosity, your journey led to a risky exploration that ultimately sealed your fate. Upon entering the attic, the symbolic Pandora's box was open, allowing Claire's... Ah, okay. Crafty spells to search forth. Okay, now the consequence is absolute. Anyone stepping into the house is... Incontrollably bound by the God, man. The truth remains field, and your name is forever tarnished as the man who succumbed to madness and tragically ended his grandmother's 
life? Okay, so yeah, we never got the truth out. Cool. Man, she was smoking. Again, besides the teeth. Nothing an old file can't fix, right? Anyway, I want to get the good ending. Let's try that again. All right, we're back in the game uh, at the end. Let's see if we can get the good ending. It's going to try to coax us into the attic. Right? No, we're not going to the attic. We're getting out of here. We're going to get the good ending. Yeah. You may rest now, Grandma. Look how beautiful. Thomas. <gasps> Grandma? Thank you. Wow, that was so worth it. We got to see Granny. Yes. All right. Free from years of unfounded guilt and remorse, you've unburdened the weight by revealing the truth. Your grandmother, after delivering... The Man, y'all read that, dog. Your grandfather found drinking at the local bar. Small Kentucky town! <laughs> oh, what? He was 73 years old, yet a lingering mystery endured. Who were the women, woman and the child? Was it the guilt to take and take it was a more complex story lie beneath the surface? In the end, what prevails is certainty that exclusive truth has been uncovered. Elusive truth has been uncovered. Kentucky, huh? I knew this place looked familiar. Weird. <clears throat> anyway, whoa! Anthony Russo? Russo. Is that my homie Russo? Yeah. That's my homie Russo. That made uh, the Alien Cube. And that other game. Weird. Huh. That's so crazy. So there's like a bit of a story behind this game. Obviously. Hey, Y'all can... Oh, you know what? This has a bit of a story to it. We'll check this out. Long standing dream of making a game of any kind became a testament to my dedication and persistence. None of this would have been possible without the unwavering support of my incredible wife. Oh, come on, man. That's great. Her encouragement and understanding sustained me through late nights, early mornings, and countless. That's great, man. To her and everyone to play the experience. My creation, I extend my heartfelt gratitude. Your presence in this journey adds a profound layer of meaning to the pixel and lines of code that now form a part of my story as a game developer. Thank you for being a vital part of this thrilling adventure. Please leave a root. That was great, man. <clears throat> that was great. Russo. Maybe it's a different Russo. I don't know. But, yeah, that was heartfelt. That's great, man. I love that. He's got a good woman by his side. Thank you for making it, sir. That was a, that was truly a good ending. I really like that. If you want to support the channel, check out the Madagascar Discord where you can talk to me and have a lot of other benefits within the Madagascar Discord. Or you can join for free. It's just the Mad Army. The links are down in the description. I live stream on Twitch on Saturdays. I love you guys. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one.